Ethos Decorum, today we're in Paris, an incredible city, pure inspiration. The people, the food, the fashion, the architecture, something about this city is just special. It breeds creativity. We're gonna meet Le Fleur. It's a brand new brand. We're gonna to talk to the founder of it, Lionel, talk about the design, talk about how he started. Let's check this out. I'm excited about this. Ethos Decorum, let's go. The product, the process, the people. Ethos Decorum. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? I'm good, I'm good. And if you let people know what's your name and what's the name of your brand? So I'm uh, Lionel Lefloc. I'm the founder, creative director of Le Flo, a footwear brand from Paris, founded in 2016. So, how did you get into footwear? How did you get into the love of footwear design? Where was the beginning point? Actually, the beginning was very, very young. Uh, I was a small kid and I fell in love with the basketball and sneaker culture in um, 1992 with the Dream Team. And at the time, uh, it was the summer. I was in a small village in the south of France, very, very small. And in this village, th there was no basketball hoop. So I had this like frustration because I loved basketball. I fell in love with the game and I couldn't play because there was no hoop around. And the only way I could translate this love was by drawing. So I started to draw like players and then I just started to do sneakers and that's how I got started really into like the sneaker culture and the love for sneakers. Gotcha. So you started to draw, you started to sketch, but you weren't necessarily like into basketball. Um, where you were, but you weren't like playing basketball itself. Did you, did you I, end up playing? Oh yeah, I played, um, I, I started to play at that time. I played uh, high school, varsity in the US actually. Okay. I played in uh, California, Mountain and High School. For okay. one year I was in the host family. Okay. I played a uh, semi-pro in France. And I stopped, I was like 20 to focus on school and then footwear design. So how was the, um, what was the transition from being a basketball player, being an athlete, loving the game and loving footwear? Mm. When did you make that transition to, I want to do a brand? Oh, it, it took, uh, it, took it was a kind of long trip, I would say. I started, I, I, um, I wasn't sure because footwear design is not something that was in my spectrum, I would say, because in my family and where I'm from, it's not something you do. Like, you don't see people being footwear designers. So I, I never really believed that this was possible. I, I didn't know that the job existed, actually. <laughs> you know, to me, it was something like uh, impossible. Mm -hmm. So I started to do business school, actually. Okay. And, uh, but I was more and more into fashion. I, I felt really the, the love of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did an internship at Berluti, okay. uh, the Parisian like footwear house. Okay. And uh, I, I loved it so much. And I fell back in love into footwear. And it brought me back with the sneaker. And uh, that's how I really got into footwear. And I, so I started to work as a collection director for different brands. But uh, my job was mainly, I was working for ready-to-wear brands like Paul and Joe, and uh, I was doing the footwear for them. So mainly it was translating their creative universe into footwear, like they, they give you mood boards and everything, and you do the footwear. So I felt a bit like I wanted to show more, like I have something to, to express a, a creative universe that I wanted to, to express. So I, I wanted to launch my own project and I launched Le Flow. And how many years ago was it? Uh, we started three and a half years ago. With my, uh, we are two with my business partners. Okay, what was the first model? So when you're launching a footwear brand, you have all these ideas, mm. right? You're like, I want to do a low top, a high top, a mid. I want straps, no mm. straps. What was the first model that you decided, okay, this is going to be the first model that the world is going to mm. see my brand? So we started with, <coughs> We had this style, which was the beginning. 
with this soul and uh, this model, uh, some specificities like the, the, the soul is super light. Like I wanted really to bring that technicity uh, that you find into the sne sneaker brands. Uh, so really the, when you take it with your, you feel like it's oh, so light. And I wanted also to incorporate the um, like exclusive and uh, leathers, like work really on the materials. And this is, for example, this is a um, tainted leather, uh, very soft. So I wanted to combine those two elements in the beginning, like the, the know-how that I got from Berlucci with the, the work on the leathers. They are really known for patin leathers and that culture from the, the sneakers. And the, so that, that was the, the beginning. You have a unique aesthetic as far as a brand mm. with the soul. The soul is very unique. Tell us about the soul of... The yeah, soul. I wanted to, to do really something different. And uh, I, I, I saw this painter called Akito Takuma, uh, who has a very specific um, technique of uh, drying. He, he, he takes different types of drying to create textures. And I love this idea to create some kind of a texture different. I wanted to do it into the soul. And so I, I told my, my soul factory, well, let's try to do something with paint and try to find something different. And we work on it. It took a little time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we came out with this uh, paint injection into the rubber. And um, the soul factory told me, Lionel, you're going to have a problem is that each soul is going to be different. And I said, whoa, that's, that's great. I love it. Like, each shoe is going to be unique. That's, who can do that? Uh, so, so we started with one shoe. The, whole, uh, the collection had a different style, but one shoe had this sole. Uh -huh. And there was a great response from the Asian market, um, Asian buyers. Mm -hmm. And we said, wow, you know what? We should do, make it as our signature. Gotcha. And that's how we started with this sole. That's the painter, Akito Takuma. And actually, uh, the cool thing is that he... He became a friend of the community. He let us use his paintings, and he has even one pair of sneakers. So, so, it, so um, you you merge sports, basketball, mm. fashion, and art all in one to have a very unique brand with the soul. So you started with one model. Yeah. What was the next phase? How did where did you move to the next couple of models? Well, I started. We we had also this high top. Um, we had <clears throat> this high top, uh, obviously high top is a must in the sneaker culture yes. and uh, I wanted to, to work it with the, um, with the straps too, so I like the idea too, it's, it's very easy to put it on and put it off, that's something that's what's really important yes. and I like the idea that the whole shoe was covered in, uh, in leather, yes. like no lace, they are just full, full, uh, full covered, so we had the high top like this that you can also have it like in more shiny uh, abrasivato Italian leather. So that was the, the next step. We have de developed, of course, many uh, dif actually, different colorways. This is actually my favorite model. Oh yeah. yeah when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness. It's, it's a high top without the straps. Mm. Put this on and then it, it has the, the leather and, and the way it just pretty much um, the silhouette itself with the sole. Mm. This is very sleek because you can wear this in a sports way, mm. but you can almost wear this in a dress, in a more yeah. uh, dressed up way. Uh, speaking of dressed up, what's unique is so you have the sneaker model, mm. but you have a shoe model. Exactly. So, um, how did you decide? I'm going to go for the sneaker model, but I'm going to add the shoe model in there. Uh, how did it start? I, um, I wanted to, to bring a formal wear but, uh, that, but that had the sneaker culture attitude. That was the idea. So, and I wanted to do something that is very wearable and, uh, but yet at the technicity of the derby, the technicity of the sportswear, like, um, so, so I started with uh, try working on the same technology of the sole, super light, the paint signature, but yet working on the on very like formal line, the classic derby line, and yet you have like this um, this leather which is end uh, end brushed and it's very specific. Like 
it's artisanship, but new artisanship. That's what I wanted to bring also. Like, uh, it's made by hand, but it's uh, it's fresh. It's That's very, so it's a very um, it's a very smooth look, mm. very sophisticated, updated look. Uh, you, you can wear this with a suit. Yeah, you can wear this in jeans. And I know that when when it came out, people were surprised. Like really, you're gonna do derby? They say, yeah, yeah. I want to do like to show that we are not just sneaker. We can be even bigger than that. And I wanted to show that also in the sneaker culture, you, like in even in hip hop, people wear derbies, uh, suits, and uh, I felt like a brand like us could do something different with a formal line. And I, I love them. Like really, I wear those. Like we have launched also the. Chelsea boots for springs. That's the new colorway for spring summer 20. That was really light with the tinted leather on the on the side. Gotcha. Now you you have the, the sneakers, you have the derby, the Chelsea boots coming, mm. um, and you experiment a lot. How um, how do you decide? What's what's your process? Do you say maybe I will introduce this later, or do you say I'm just going to go ahead and work on this right now? What's your process as the creator to decide? Because you have a lot of mm. ideas. Yeah. A lot of your a lot of your ideas are um, you probably have to test a lot of your ideas with the factory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what's your process from sketching, thinking of an idea, to factory sample? Um, it start by really what I feel like, what I want, like really what I want, what I want to wear, what I feel like, uh, where we need to go as a as a brand. Mm -hmm. uh, we are getting more and more into eco -re responsible elements. Mm -hmm. Really, that's really is my focus these days. Mm -hmm. uh, like forever, our, our soles come from um, recycled EVA rubber. And I like this and I want to work more on that. So it's more about how I, me, what I want, how I feel the market is going, or I feel like uh, the, not the trend, but how I, me, I feel like I want to push the brand. So that's how we go. Then we discuss with my business partner and also we see what, what we can do in terms of development. Because of course the, the cost element is a, is a factor for sure. Yes. I know uh, next collection we will develop a brand new silhouette, soles, everything. Like so, gotcha. people are really gotcha. are gonna, gonna be really excited. So I'm working on this right now. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a young brand, but you've already done a lot with all of your ideas mm. with the um, the unique soles, um, the dye, um, also being eco friendly and working towards mm. those things. Um, and you keep on pushing up new models as far as, you know, most young brains that are like, that start with sneakers don't just automatically give you a derby and a Chelsea mm. boot. Um, what's the next for the floor? Um, we want to bring a, a new sneaker and uh, we want to do it because uh, I feel like the market right now is going a bit away. Like many sneaker brands are trying to go into new direction like Eels and uh, we launched the derbies and people were surprised and I want to like bring a, a new take on sneakers. Okay. That's my thinking right now. Like people are going away. Me, I want to show like Le Flo is the sneaker brand. So I want to bring a brand new sneaker like to say there's new things to do in sneakers because people, f I think like they feel like everything has been done. Gotcha. And I want to show them, no, no, there are many things to do. So really, I, I want to go into that direction for now. Gotcha, gotcha. So this is Jonathan for Ethos Decorum. We are at Le Fleur, uh, an exciting new uh, French sneaker brand that's not limited to sneakers. And um, check them out. Where, where can they find you online? Uh, Le Fleur, dash Paris .com and uh, in Paris in the Galerie Lafayette. Thank you. Thank you guys.